Yes, it's a real Viking raid on this dinghy cruise to the Sussex Inlet. That's all coming up. It's Paul from Sailing Cape Louise. Well, on this sailing raid, we've come down to St George's Basin, about two and a half hours or three hours south of Sydney. Uh, we were going to go over the far side, which is called Nielsen Park, that boat ramp there at Sussex Inlet. There's a howling gale over there, so I've come back over this side to the Basin View boat ramp, and it's really nice here. Heaps of parking. There's still wind, but it's not too bad. But there are a few spots to stay overnight around this side, so um, about... Uh, two o'clock at the moment I think. It's sunny, beautiful, we're just into winter but it is a little bit chilly I have to say. Chilly and windy but uh, we're going to stay down here for three or four days and then go to the Viking Festival to do a bit of axe throwing, you know, a bit of pillaging, that sort of thing. Um, so it should be fun. All up we're expecting about five other raiders and this is Pete with his Paul Gart side design 138 which he built himself. So the plan was to find somewhere to camp on the other side, out of the westerlies, before it got dark. Oh, so Pete and I are out of the wind eventually. I'm not quite sure where we are, but we're out of the wind. So this is Pete's galley box, and he's got an intriguing collection of pills. What's in the pill box, Pete? Oh, well, I'm into organics a bit. A bit like wine. So here I've got Vietnamese mint from the garden, sage and rosemary, oregano, some sweet paprika, smoky paprika, and some chicken lime seasoning. What a wonderful idea. Brought along some fresh veggies, because I like fresh veggies. Yeah. And so I'll, I'll do these first, and then I'll throw the, um, the sausages, some nice Angus beef sausages. And where did you get the hibachi style barbecue? Well, I actually bought this one from Tent World at Bankstown. And it's a little bit smaller than, than I'd like, but the bigger ones were too heavy for me yeah. to consider- Put in the boat. To put in the boat and too big. So I'm making do. Judging by the wind and today, uh, that's a good idea. It's, it's, it's worked out. We'll, we'll see how we go, but I think it's a good start. Good morning. So day two of this raid down at uh, St George's Basin. Pete and I camped here overnight. Had a nice fire last night, cooked on the shore. We were quite protected in this little bay, but it was still pretty windy. Uh, overnight it was good. Now it's come up again. Probably just as windy as yesterday, so it's going to be an interesting sail today. Anyway, the sun's come up now, so at least I can warm up a bit. Well, it was quite chilly last night had thermals, tracksuit pants and two jumpers on so I'm a sleeping bag and I'm still a bit cold. Anyway, we'll warm up once the sun and, uh, heats us up a bit and we'll be fine. Have some breakfast and then meet the other guys coming later on this morning. So just to give you an idea of where we are, uh, Sussex Inlet is down here. This is where the Viking Festival is going to be on Saturday. So that's where I stopped first off. And I drove all the way back around here to Basin View, which is up here. That's a really good boat ramp there. And we sailed across here to f try and get out of the wind around here, but there was nowhere really. So then we came around this side and we're actually moored around here. And today we'll sail across here, hopefully, and uh, around the lake. I needed that. It is chilly. It's probably only, I don't know, eight, nine degrees, something like that. With a wind chill factor, it's probably down to about five. Not as cold as some European countries in winter, I know, uh, or even America or Canada, because uh, we have such good warm weather in summer in Australia. So uh, it's, uh, it's bracing. Anyway, good. I must stop saying anyway. 
Pete's going to come over and raft up for breakfast. So what are you having for breakfast, Pete? Oh, look, I think I'll start with the coffee and I've got some... I've got a toss up between some fried tomatoes on toast or some bacon. Oh, Probably some fried tomatoes. You definitely go five star dinghy cruising. <laughs> so because it's cold, I'm going to have baked beans on toast. And Pete is frying up his tomatoes. tomatoes oh, look at that. Right? Yes, with sage from his uh, spice cabinet that we saw last night. Well, we're off sailing again, as they say. Going back to meet up with Dave, who's just arrived. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a good 10 to 12 knot breeze out here. I haven't hit it quite just yet. I wait till I get around this headland and then I will. And that's where we were last night, back in there. Now Dave Pello's joined us. I think the wind has lifted. Yeah, you're going really fast. I think we're both drier than Pete. He was copping a bit of wash over the side. Yeah. That's hanging on to the way over. <laughs> so we're broad reaching across here and it's pretty strong. Exciting but strong. Which is interesting because there's no real white caps, but it's and it's quite flat. Anyway, it's all fun. I'm just going to go and check out a few different spots. So this is great. Clear blue skies, good breeze. Probably in here it's down to about 10 knots. Dave's just added some uh, rollocks to his boat, so now he can row. So this is the first time he's had a go rowing, because the cherry is quite light, so it should be able to row quite easily. It really is a glorious day for winter. So this is One Tree Bay. Pete's just gone ahead to investigate to see if there's a good spot to camp. Looks like Dave's given up rowing and he's motoring. Taking my wind. <laughs> I'm not giving it back. Pete couldn't find anywhere decent to get out or camp overnight, so he decided to head back to where we were last night. And that meant back into the wind. There is somebody down there sailing. I don't know if that's one of the raid guys. 
Okay, I can see it coming in the distance, right, way down the lake. Not sure what Dave's doing. It's going pretty fast though. Oh, I just put the mane up because I think the wind's dropped a bit. And uh, yeah, it's nice. Just got to get it set and then we'll be right. And the mystery boat that sailed up from the bottom of the lake and braved the winds was Steve, who'd come to join the raid. So Steve, are you going to join the Sydney Raid Group? Looking forward to it. Paul. Yeah, and what's the name of your boat again? Waterleaf. And what sort of design is it? It's a Swallow Bay Raider 17. Oh yeah, and it uh, is fast. Yeah, built by Andrew Denman down in Tasmania. Oh wow. Yeah, he did a good job. Very good job. So Pete, I see you're drying out your socks. How wet did you get? Well, I've got water inside my balaclava and down the back of my neck, oh my so, which is God. a bit unusual. Yeah. However, one perseveres and one has woolen socks <laughs> and a fireplace. More than one pair, hopefully. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Although these ones are gonna get a lot of use. Now, Pete, following in the dead potato vein, I understand you've got some dead potato tonight. Absolutely. I was up at the local IGA when would you believe they had dead potato with onion on the shelf? So of course I bought a packet and another packet. And <laughs> some of it's on my plate tonight, along with some tomatoes and mushrooms with um, fresh rosemary. Oh, well, the sausages cook on the grill. Oh, it's, I tell you, this is definitely five-star dining. Of course, I wait with bated breath to see what our more experienced adventurers serve up tonight. <laughs> well, Marshall, I mm. hope... Mm. Marshall, I hope you're watching this. You've got another devotee. Good stuff. It is good, isn't it? And of course, it is It is the dead potato with onion. With onion. Because the with onion is the important part. <laughs> Apparently, it was just a slow expletives. <laughs> because he thought he'd have to go out and rescue him. Best holiday that was ever. That's a funny thing, though, having a really good time with that. <laughs> Well, good morning. That's a very noisy crow. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, I just woke up, a fisherman's going past, and I can hear him talking to somebody. He's just over there. So it's about seven o'clock in the morning now. Beautiful. Not quite as uh, warm as yesterday. But uh, there you go. Last night was all right. My air bed went down again. Lasted about half the night, but um, slept pretty well last night. Clear, clear sky, some cloud over there. There is a change coming today. So uh, we'll see how we go. That's uh, nice, first thing in the morning. Very nice. And for breakfast, I'm gonna have porridge. It's got oats, chia, almonds, coconut. Very nice. I don't know if you can see that. Definitely porridge weather. So this is Steve and his Swallow Raider. Very nice boat.
So we're heading back to the boat ramp now at uh, Basin View Boat Ramp. And then we're gonna put the boat on the trailer and drive around to the Viking Fair because this afternoon there's gonna be a big change coming through. We might not be able to get back. So the easiest thing is just to drive, drive around there and come back. What you do is you chop down here and you pull the blood shield back and your buddy behind who's got a spear he just drills the other one. Arms to get blind for later on. <laughs> get, get, get out of here, beggar. Arms for the ball. <laughs> Go on, look at me, look at me. <laughs> Not really good at having my photo taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. To make sure it fits. Oh, yeah. The Viking stubby <laughs> holder. There you go, mate. Thanks, mate. Do you want a bag? Oh, Take that's bag. right. Are you locals? Yeah. We're from Nowra. Oh, okay. That's local enough. Yeah. Wow, I'm impressed with the effort you've gone to. <laughs> Back over there. <laughs> Love your outfits. <laughs> Is that mead? Yeah. Is it any good? Oh yeah. How long does it take you to make one? Oh, it varies. Depends on how detailed it is. Yeah. Anything from a couple of hours to a couple of days. Wow. Yeah. Viking pizzas. So we had a great day out at the Viking Festival at Sussex Inlet and if you're ever in the area next year on the June long weekend it's well worth a visit and as this area suffered really badly in recent floods it's good to know that some of the revenue goes towards the community. Just as we arrived back Francis joined us with his career 18 He's a local to the area and braved the winds to sail back. So this is Steve's uh, camping setup for the night. Looks very cozy. Slats across from one side to the other. And a mat in the middle. Heaps of room.
So we had a great time today at the Viking Festival at Sussex Inlet. We were there for probably about three hours and then we've uh, come back here where we were last night. Saw a lot of uh, very authentic Vikings. Uh, yeah, it was really good. A lot of people there, uh, a lot of kids having a great time. It's beginning to get cold, it's just on four o'clock. So Francis, tell us about the name of your boat. Uh, it's called Puff and Stuff. Yeah. It was original, its original name was Yellow Peril, and I thought, well, we did buy it in COVID, <laughs> so, but you know, we went a bit politically incorrect. So um, after much discussion, we came up with Puff and Stuff. What's the wifey and the odd socks the bit all the about? Socks? Well, we've got that um, emblazoned on our camper as well. Oh. And um, yeah, I just don't wear matching socks. Right. They've usually only got one hole for the <laughs> midfoot. Um, and yeah, so I'm, she's wifey McWife face and, and I'm odd socks. Uh, Fair enough. <laughs> there you go. And the great thing about dinghy cruising on a raid is you get to meet lots of interesting people and have a laugh around a campfire. And let's face it, nothing beats that. The wind's picked up, so we're going to the fire pit now. Should be good. Pete's inspired by the Vikings this afternoon, and uh, he's going a bit of axe work. I think this is the best raid fire ever. I would have to agree. Yeah. It'll go well with oh, well Odin's done. Reserve. That's not Son of Odin, that's Odin's Reserve. Odin's Reserve. Right. This is the one that's drinkable. <laughs> Pete's got some mead from the Viking Fair today. <laughs> yeah. My foot's really hot, and now that I've walked over here, I this, oh, it's still really hot. <laughs> ah, beautiful morning. It's about seven o'clock, I think. Ah, very, very windy night. It must have been 25 knots or something all night long. Uh, I'm a bit further out, so I was getting blown all over the place. Uh, anyway, we all survived. And the sun's come up. It's quite a nice morning. I don't know what we're going to do today, whether we're going to go back or stay today, I'm not sure. So I think some of the guys are going back, so I may or may not go back. But uh, at least the wind's died down from what it was last night. Anyway, time for a bit of breakfast. It doesn't look like much, but I'm having scrambled egg with baked beans in the same pot. It just makes it a bit easier. A bit weird, maybe, but I've had it before. It tastes all right. So at last, we're off sailing again. It's probably only uh, probably only about nine o'clock in the morning, I think. But uh, the wind's a lot less today. Probably seven knots out here maybe. Uh, we just thought we'd come all this way. Well, let's go for a bit of a sail because we haven't actually done much sailing. Um, that's a nice morning. Very nice. Pete's heading back today and uh, Steve's going to head back in a bit and so is Francis but so we're going to go for a bit of a sail first and Dave and I will probably stay here another night. You know what I said about seven knots? I think we're upwards of 12 here. I've taken the main down. It's just too much. Uh, slightly protected on this side, but out in the middle there, my God, it's quite strong. Dave's way down there, he's having a bit of trouble tacking, I think. Jib only. That's jib only.
this is a, a nice quiet patch, but out there it's probably a good 15 knots. It doesn't look it, it's deceptive because it's very flat and you don't see a lot of white horses, but uh, it's windy. So this is Swan Bay on the eastern shore. We came here yesterday, but we didn't come down far enough and we couldn't find anywhere uh, yesterday because it was a bit rocky up there. So we've come a bit further down and this spot here is fantastic. There's a sandy beach and again, nobody on the water. It is magical down here, absolutely magical. Fundamental mistake. I didn't check the tap on my water container was closed and uh, put it under the thwart. I now have unintentional water ballast with my fresh water. It's in the bilge. Uh, luckily the other guys have got some spare water. So Francis is heading back. Nice to meet you, Francis. Likewise, gentlemen. Thanks for having me. We'll, we'll do it all again somewhere in the future. Indeed. Yeah, good fun. Same bat time, different bat time, different bat channel. <laughs> So tonight I'm going to have a dehydrated pasta salmon dish that I made a few weeks ago and it was pretty good last time. It's only about uh, four o'clock now so we're about to light the fire. Uh, the sun's going down behind the trees so it will get it cold fairly quickly. But the wind's dropping, yeah, wow. I'm so tired I think I'll be in bed by six o'clock, seriously. <laughs> Well, good morning. I had a really good night's sleep last night. Very quiet. There's no wind blowing. The sun's just come up now over the trees. It's about 7.30. Uh, and it didn't rain last night, which is really good. So just enjoying the morning sunshine. We'll have some breakfast, head back to the boat ramp, and then probably leave about midday. Lots of little swallows flying around here, really nice. Beautiful, very nice. Now, I didn't properly introduce you to my new boat, Alexis, last night. Um, my dear wife, um, my number one fan, I should say, or the light of my life, no, 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 no longer the light of my life, it's now uh, my number one fan, has always mentioned that this boat, Kate Louise, is named after my daughters, and uh, she didn't get a look in. <clears throat> so, I um, now have an inflatable kayak to get ashore, which I have named Alexis. So, um, and she worked very well last night, getting me to shore. So, this is Alexis, the inflatable. back sailing. Nice gentle breeze this morning, probably only three to five knots. Uh, pot around for a few hours and uh, go home. Mains up today.
This is fantastic. Nice, gentle breeze. Probably doing, I don't know, three, four knots, something like that. And it's not too gusty, it's constant, so it's really nice. Here we go down there where the house is going, have a look down there. Nobody here, a few fishermen, that's about it. Beautiful, really nice. So George's Basin, highly recommend it. And this is winter. That's where we were last night down there. We can see those fishing boats. So Sussex Inlet, that we didn't manage to get to because it was too windy, uh, is down there somewhere. So thank you very much for watching Sailing Kate Louise on this Viking raid down to St George's Basin. And thanks to Francis with all this local knowledge and Stephen for coming along as well. It's been a really good raid. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the water somewhere next time.